Hey, it's Amber, and I want to talk to you about purpose today. Have you ever heard that quote, he who has a why to live for can bear almost any how? It's a quote from renowned philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, and it brings up some questions that I have for you around purpose. What is your why? Like your reason for being? Do you believe that your life actually has meaning or purpose? You may be wondering, like, does it matter? But yeah, it totally matters, and I'm going to tell you why. Purpose gives us direction and it helps us to guide our actions, especially during challenging times like this. Purpose keeps us motivated and able to focus on what we're passionate about instead of being distracted by all of the noise around us. Research actually shows that purpose enhances our well-being. People with purpose have better mental and physical health, better self-esteem, expanded longevity, less depression and anxiety, and even a reduced risk of diseases like Alzheimer's. People with purpose are less stressed. That's the key because stress is the number one predictor of depression and a lot of other chronic diseases. If you've joined me for any of my courses or coaching or webinars, you will often hear me say dis-ease equals disease. When we don't know our purpose, we are often at a dis-ease. We don't have intention. We don't have passion. We don't have motivation or strategy or direction in what we're doing. And we're missing out on the greatness that purpose brings to our lives. Purpose is healing. It gives us comfort. It makes us more immune mentally, emotionally, and even physically to the stresses of life. Not because purpose-driven people don't feel the ups and downs. It's just that they navigate them differently. They have a better sense and a clearer vision of the big picture to put things into perspective. So if you're looking for more purpose in your life, I'm going to give you a quick few minutes on uncovering purpose in your life and in your work. I'm going to invite you to shift the way that you think right now and look at purpose as a verb instead of as a noun. There's a positive psychology expert named Karen Rockin, and she once said, purpose is the active way you uniquely impact the world. Think about that. When we look at purpose as a verb, we can look at it in the context of what we do actively. And when we think of what we do, what do we usually think of? What we do for a living, right? That makes sense because most of us spend an average of, what, 40 to 50 hours a week working, 200 hours a month or so, and 2,600 hours a year working. And if you're an entrepreneur, you're probably spending even more time than that. So then that brings up a few more questions. If work is taking up so much of our time, how can we uncover more purpose and meaning in our work? Because then we're bringing more purpose and meaning to our life. Are you, do, you, do you currently find purpose and meaning in your work? Are you a purpose-driven person? If your answer is yes, then you have a greater appreciation for what you do, and you've likely made it through these last few weeks with less pain than most. But there are far too many of us who aren't passionate about what we do for a living. Even think of that, for a living. That's such an interesting term, right? For a living. So what's your mindset around what you do for a living? Is your work your job? your career, or your calling. Let me explain more. People with what we refer to in positive psychology as a job mindset work for the money. They don't find much meaning in what they do for a living. These folks usually tend to be less satisfied and more stressed than their more purpose-driven counterparts. People with a career mindset often work for advancement, pay, prestige. They're happy when they're winning, but if they're not advancing at the pace that they want to, or they're not in the role that they think that they deserve, they're often not satisfied and they can slip back into that more stressful state. And then there are the folks who have a calling mindset. These are people who feel that they are called to do the work that they do. They're more clear on their purpose. They feel good about what they're doing and find meaning in the way that they're spending a third of their time. Here's another key characteristic of people with a calling mindset. They're intentional about making use of their passions, strengths, skills, and experiences. Imagine what your life would look and feel like if you were answering your calling and shining in your own unique way. I believe that everything on this planet has a purpose. I mean, if ants and algae and acorns have purpose, then like, why wouldn't you? As a life and business coach and a purpose-driven entrepreneur myself, I'm so dedicated to bringing out the best in people and creating positive social impact. So I'm more motivated now than ever to help people use their extra time to uncover purpose. 
You uncover purpose in one of three ways, usually, through proactive and intentional search, through observation or imitation, or through a transformative life event where purpose arises and adds clarity to your life. Have you ever had these happen? If you haven't yet uncovered your purpose, I invite you to leverage now as that time. This is your transformative life event. Be still, seek clarity, get intentional about what you do for a living. I'm going to challenge you to find meaning in your work or start considering more meaningful work. Volunteer if it's more feasible for you, because there are so many organizations out here who would love for you to bring your shine to their causes, even if your job doesn't. Whatever you do, I encourage you to take this time to get bold and become more purpose-driven in your work. The chances are that you'll be happier, healthier, and more successful if and when you do. I'm Amber, and that's my tidbit on purpose and the healing power of purpose. I hope you found that uh, impactful and helpful, valuable for you. And you can check out more on what I have coming this week, some good, good stuff. So check out quartzwellnesscollective.com and learn more about my programming and webinars and the online events that I've got going on. And I hope to see you in them. Take care.